We have a very special guest this, this evening to speak to us, and, and I'm, I'm sure he will be an inspiration to all of you students um, and your parents. He certainly is an inspiration to all of us and so on. Jose Hernandez was born in California, but spent a lot of his early days in the city of La Piedad in Michoacan, where his parents were from. So half the time he was there, half the time he was here in the United States. He worked as a young child and, he, and a young man in the fields in the, in the Central Valley, so on. He didn't speak a word of English, am I correct, until you were 12 years old, is that correct? He's come a long way. With a BS degree in engineering from the University of the Pacific and a master's degree in engineering from the University of California at Santa Barbara, an honorary doctorate degree from the University of California at Santa Barbara. He worked at the Livermore Laboratory for a number of years, and in 2001 was accepted to the astronaut program. In 2009, he was chosen to ride, do you say ride, or fly, or whatever, a satellite to the satellite station. Um, th this is an accomplishment for anybody, especially an accomplishment for a young man who worked in the fields, grew up, got his education, and became not only a, a top flight engineer, but an astronaut it is a pretty amazing accomplishment. Um, if you would please come up and give a warm welcome to Mr. Jose Hernandez. I am very proud to be here, to be able to be in front of you, that you guys honor me with inviting me here and uh, in, in your presence so I can give you a few words of hopefully for the students' encouragement. First of all, I want to thank Carolyn, Ed, and Mark for inviting me here and taking care of the logistics of getting me here and being able to address you. A lot of people always tell me, how is it that a migrant farm worker from La Piedad, Michoacan, was able to actually reach for the stars. And let me tell you, it's a story that I think can be repeated over and over if a particular recipe is followed. And I'll share that recipe. But before, what I'd like you to understand is that I am really no different than you students out there, 118 of you, you know, this is the 19th year of this program. Over one and a half million dollars have been given away at this event. And I see so much of myself in you out there today. How did it begin with me? Because I worked nine months out of the year here in the Central Valley and three months in Mexico. We moved from city to city, often three school districts throughout the year, and we missed about three months worth of school when we went back to La Piedad, and that was the routine. This is why it took me until I was 12 years old to master the English language. But I think things turned around when a second grade teacher finally came to our house and told my parents that it behooved them for us to stay in one place so the kids would have a chance at a good education. My parents only had a third grade education. I remember I was nine when I saw the last mission of the Apollo program. We had this old black and white TV with rabbit ear antennas on top. And as I held that antenna to get better reception, there he was, Gene Cernan, walking on the surface of the moon. I would then go outside and see the moon full. I would come back inside and see Gene Cernan walk on the surface of the moon, talk to Mission Control Houston, and I would say, wow, that's what I want to be. Yo quiero ser astronauta. I want to be an astronaut. And remember, my parents only had a third grade education. 
de un rancho, Ticuita con Michoacán, not even La Piedad, es un ranchito. And I shared that dream with my parents at that time. My dad sat me down in the same kitchen table where my mom always made us do our homework right after school while she did las tortillas, la sopita y arroz to give us something to eat after school. But we always did our homework there. In that same table, my dad sat me down and he said, so you want to be an astronaut? And I would say, si, senor. He must have saw the determination in my eyes because he said, you know what, Pepe? Because that's what they called me. I think you can do it. But you need to follow a recipe. A recipe, very simple, he said. Five simple ingredients. And of course I said, ¿cuáles son? What are they? He said, first, he says, you have to define what you want to be in life. What is it that Pepe wants to do when he grows up? Second, he said, you have to understand where you're at now. And of course, I understood. Nine-year-old migrant farm working kid, pretty far away from being an astronaut. Third, he said, you have to draw yourself a map. Every step, how to get from where you understand where you're at to where you want to go. And don't jump steps, because you can still get up there, but you won't be well prepared. Fourth, he said, get yourself an education. Porque sin la educación, no hay nada. Fifth and final, he said, the same work ethic you put in picking those cucumbers in the fields, you got to put it in the books. And when you graduate college and work as a professional, you got to put it in your job. He said, you mix all that up, Pepe, and you can be whatever you want to be. And you know why? Porque estamos en América, estamos en Estados Unidos. You can reach the dream. You're going to be able to do it. You just got to work hard. Y lo tienes que tener aquí adentro del corazón. I believe that hook line and sinker. The only additional ingredients I would add is perseverance. Because it didn't take me once, twice, or three times to get selected as an astronaut. It took me 12 times. They told me no 11 times. Imagine what would have happened had I given up. We can't give up. You've got to keep trying and trying. Each year I didn't get selected, I would look at the astronauts and say, what do they have that I don't have? One year I found out they were all pilots. So guess what? Pepe learned how to fly. Another year I found out they were all scuba divers. Guess what? Pepe learned how to scuba dive. Then one year I read that the US and Russia were building the International Space Station up in space to do experiments. It didn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that we were going to be working with the Russians up in space in the near future. So when a project came out at Lawrence Livermore Lab to go to Russia, I jumped on that project. Not because I wanted to go to Russia, but because it justified Pepe taking Russian language courses and my work paying for it. So ya pone mayo para ruski yazik. That's what I did. Perseverance, improving yourself each time. And if you add that last ingredient, you too can reach for your own stars. And very, very important for the parents out there that believe that they cannot help their kids because they only have a first, second, third, or fourth grade education, that's not true. You could offer them much more than money. You could offer them the moral support. Y eso cuenta por mucho. That counts a lot. So keep, keep encouraging your kids to be reaching for their own stars. Porque si se puede, si se puede. Yo soy ejemplo de que si se puede. I do not consider myself a genius. I just consider myself a hard worker. And I know all of you there are hard workers. And I know all of you will be able to reach for your own stars. Muchas gracias.